Morning everybody, uh, welcome to a real loud day. I think it's gonna be a really loud day because this is a big, loud Camaro with a crazy engine and it's gonna be a real good time. Yeah, um, no, it'll be fun. I think you'll enjoy Corey, it. We, 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 we met time. before, we the handshake feels weird. Friends. It does feel weird. <laughs> usually it's, um, you know, usually we shake. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> we just, we check and cough. Yeah, I mean, that's this what friends do in, for friends. Yeah, yeah, that's good, in. that's fine. All right, so you, you were for Comedy Media, you guys brought up this crazy height Camaro. Yeah, so Heights, like traditionally, has been known for kind of hot rod muscle car parts. Um, they, you know, they've been kind of working their way up the ladder, so now they're on 4th Gen Camaros. They've got a full Pro-G IRS system. So basically, you buy the entire rear end, you know, you, you can pick what brakes you want, you can want optional third members, um, basically everything you need to make the 4th Gen actually handle well. And what's kind of interesting is these are kind of the unloved Camaros. Yeah. You know, the 3rd Gens are starting to get cool again. I think the 4th Gen's making its way there, you know, the WS6 Trans Am, stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, they sent it out. This is their R&D vehicle, so um, pretty pretty simple otherwise. Um, 525 horsepower LS3. Um, you know, other than that, big wheel wood brakes, uh, Ride Tech triple adjustables with the reservoirs. Reservoir, yeah, yeah. Um, nice and see. then all their their lower control arms. Um, you know, they've got a strut tower brace, and I can kind of walk through the rest of the yeah, list. Yeah, the parts list is long. It's 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 uh, pretty and long. <laughs> and anyway, real quick, like. I went to their website to look around a bit, yeah. and they've got you know drop-down menus for like Ford Mustang, Chevy Nova, Chevelle, different years, front subframe, rear subframe, yeah. like all stuff I remember from all my days of reading like Rotten Custom and stuff, like bolt-in front IFS, right. rear IFS. But now everything's just way more performance oriented. Yeah, and I mean with the pro touring thing blowing up, like now all those events are starting to allow in later model cars too. You know these cars are still fairly cheap. Fortunes yeah, are fairly cheap. They're cheap. sort of less desirable, but you know this thing's LS swapped. You know the Z28s have LS ones. Like it's pretty potent, and uh, you know you'll see how you like it. 315s all the way around from Falcon it's Tire. No <laughs> roll fenders or anything. No nope. 315s fit four corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's it's crazy. Real compliant and um, you know, tons of fun to drive. So you'll dig it. It's crazy. Uh, do you want to read through the model list or just post Yeah, it? yeah. So just like a kind of a breakdown um, of what they've got. So it's uh, their Pro GIRS uh, tubular cave member. Um, you've got Heights tubular front upper control arms, uh, fabricated gussets and lower control arms. Uh, so you, they're fully cervical uh, spherical joints too. So, you know, like having access to be able to mess with stuff and make adjustments is pretty yeah. easy. Um, they've got their front sway bar, uh, transmission cross member, strut tower brace, basically every single piece, uh, subframe connectors, Everything that Heights makes for the Fortune, this thing has on it. Wow. So, all right. Um, they've been using it for R and D and doing a lot of track days and autocross. So, nice to finally get it out to and not if it's R and D with autocross and road course means like probably gonna stick really well. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's like, got a lot of grip. Oh, <laughs> this does two things, and both are cornering, um, and yet it's still got a T top, which is like not the most. Yeah, everything else is straight out of the '90s, but oh, it's so '90s. Like all the <laughs> cute. These, if these buttons were on a phone, it'd be on an ad for like, are you a senior citizen and can't see? Yeah, we're, like, we're contemplating making like a like a great 90s mix CD with like everybody that had chain wallets and like cut off jean shorts. I had one of those. You should have worn your flannel today. There you go. Yeah.
metal no. brakes. So they are metal, metal yeah. brakes. Oh, sorry. I just assumed. I assume because it's like a relatively new car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. It, you told me. The other prime for a sec, you're good. Prime the reactor. You're good. Oh, that flush pedal in and loosen the car. Just the thro throttle body likes to stay open a little longer, so. It smells delicious. Uh huh. It's a nice part about it being an uh, Illinois car, too. Yeah. yeah nice. They do things a little differently there. There's like a Harley press ride happening right now. Yeah, no, I, I definitely saw uh, an Eagle Riders trailer and they just drug a bunch of them up. There's like a bunch of Germans that are probably really oh, happy right now. I was in Death Valley and a bunch of French people <laughs> rented Harleys and riding across the US and they were wearing the leather and everything. It was over there. They like, love it. This Death Valley is amazing. It's so hot. Yeah, 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 Sons of Anarchy is wonderful.
the right, uh, you know, front engine, rear wheel drive, V8. That's what I like too, like even when I first got in, like when I first got it at the shop, like you get in and you, it, it, everything feels pretty straightforward, normal, it's easy to drive. Like It's really easy to drive. Um, I wish there was a little bit more steering feel. I'm not sure, like it has huge tires. It has all the suspension parts yeah. in the world, so it may just be the steering system GM put in. I mean, I don't yeah. know if it's like a box or what they did. Like they're, at a certain point, you can't blame like the aftermarket company, especially this one. They literally have everything changed in the front, right? right. Like other than the steering box, it's like all right. It's and and I think like a lot of people forget too. It's like the the even though the you know the parts manufacturers are you know car guys and car builders are not necessarily building a finished vehicle. They're really focusing on you know suspension in particular. Oh, it's totally. No, it's real yeah. quick, and it's engaging in the right way. Uh, it's like a little body roll, but it's kind of fun to play with, and then you feel the grip, and then, you know, up there I felt like when it let go in front, I was like, oh, we need to, like, bring some more weight to the front, and then it just stuck and, and pulled into the corner. Uh, I think a lot of people spend yeah. spend a lot of time, like, I mean, you're driving a lot of new stuff, too, and you realize, like, what gets lost. When, totally. What gets lost when you go back and drive stuff, even from the 90s, 80s, whatever, like, mechanical grip you have three fifteens up front so it's yeah. like you feel everything you feel exactly what it's doing the whole time that's very true that's very true uh and even though like I, I, I guess you know i actually did feel when it let go in the front a little bit i don't know if it was through the seat or the wheel or whatever but yeah the, 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 the understeer is pretty manageable though totally. you know it's not like a lot of the a lot of the cars too that are set up with like 335s in the back and skinnies up front where it's like a 275 265 it just you have to drive it with the rear wheels this you can it's pretty balanced yeah it, it feels really really balanced and like the lean is engaging it's almost like you know like matt's old 911 or right. something like it's got a significant amount of body roll which you can always change with a sway bar if you wanted to um but it's kind of fun you know like it just, just tucks in squats yeah it's, it's like volume knobs it's like a little uh, you know a little more and then you feel it stick and then it's a good time I don't know, man. Every time I do these things, I just keep learning. Like, you don't need to buy the newest thing. Like, right. The newest thing is usually fun, and shiny, and cool. Right. But if you want like a car just for driving experiences, especially with the second car, you have a lot of options. Dude, there's a lot of stuff. Options. And like, 
everything can handle. Man. And you kind of have to decide like what, how deep you want to get into it. And yeah. This isn't like, you know, this is like suspension wise, you know, it's not a, it's, they, it has everything they'll throw at it. But when in like relation to other stuff, it's not a big budget build, you know, this no. is something that they did. They bought it and they did R and D. It still has a seat, like the CD player, and like all the other like normal basic stuff. So, Dude, I mean, these, the, these fourth gens are not expensive cars. Right. So you could find, I mean, especially if you're like a hobbyist, you could find a shell that's good and then put whatever engine you want or just mod the engine a little bit uh, and then just throw this stuff on it. Like, I, I know you can find fourth gens for sure. only a few thousand dollars. And you can find ones that aren't LS cars, that aren't sort of the desirable ones, and you can motor swap it pretty easily. Yeah, like that, really that stuff's easy. pretty straightforward now. It's really good. <laughs> that's good. Oh, man. I mean, I like my car a lot, but man. Like, There's always something else. Like There's always something suspension systems yep um, if you have a domestic car pretty much of any kind go check out their site and yeah I mean give these a thought if you're gonna build a track car yeah like, I mean there's a, there's a lot of options same third gens like any of that stuff you don't have to go buy a 68 Camaro like you can yeah you know then you, you don't have do to buy a C5 or C6 vet right like, you could you could probably build a car as capable as right. that from one of these with all these parts on for near the price of like a good C5. And most of this stuff is bolt on too. Like there's very like, there's some minor welding like with subframe connectors and stuff like that. Other than that, it's all bolt in. Once you have everything set up, um, you know, you start just bolt things in. Sweet. All right. Um, I can't think anymore. <laughs> so let's just go drive back. All right. We won't talk during it. We'll keep recording. Maybe we'll do a just the noise video. Deal. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, check out our podcast, subscribe to all the stuff. New podcast, Tuesday, Thursday. We record them live. You can ask questions on Super Chat if you want, and we will absolutely answer them. Um, one takes all the time. I don't know. All the stuff. Look below the description for the full parts list of this thing, because it's real big, and I can't remember any of it. Because I've had concussions.